The night is nearly over. The day is almost here. So let us put aside the deeds of darkness and put on the armour of light. This world is full of darkness. Yet we try to tie it up at this time of year with the lights of Christmas. In the hope that during this time something bright and shining will appear. Those who do not know the Lord Jesus Christ are lost in the world's darkness and they, their eternity is full of fear because they know of their separation from God. Yet this day, this Advent Sunday, we have touched the first candle with fire and it burns with the light that gives us and the whole world hope that Jesus Christ is coming again. I wonder if you have this hope in your hearts. Does it burn brightly? Or is it just a dim flame? Christ came to give us hope so we know he is near and he's coming back into the world again. Our reading says this, the night is nearly over, the day is almost here. So let's put aside the deeds of darkness and put on the armour of light. I wonder if this is describing you. Do you perform deeds of darkness or have you allowed Christ and his spirit to come into your life so that you perform what is done in the light? If you are still in the dark and your deeds are dark, have they been washed away like soot that once covered a white sheet? And are they now, and is that sheet now pure and clean and it gleams in the sunshine? We are promised that the night is nearly over. Can you see it rising? rising. The sun is on the horizon. Can you feel the warmth that he gives? The wonderful sunrise that is banishing the darkness that lays all around us. For where Christ is, darkness is gone. All fear disappears. That which lurks in the dark, in those recesses which ordinary light cannot touch, we find with Christ have been banished. Our Lord brings warmth and light. His love penetrates all and brings hope, gladness and blessing. While the world at this time celebrates a time of giving, it has forgotten that the gift has been given. The gift which brings hope into the world. That hope which this world sorely needs. I wonder what your hope is this Christmas. Do you hope that it will give you all that you need? Or are you hoping that a saviour will come into your life and provide the blessings that you require so you will be a blessing to the world because you know him? I know a saviour, do you? I know hope, do you? Do you have that hope in your heart? I pray that you have been blessed in this way and you know a saviour and you have that hope in your heart. It is easy in the night time to do those things that we should not. If you're wondering what these deeds are which are mentioned, this is a list that Paul gave. Godlessness. And we see that in this world today. People who are, have no concept of God whatsoever and the terrible things that they do because they have no love or succour in their lives. Not believing in him who have saved you. Our Lord Jesus Christ came and provides salvation for people. Those who suppress the truth, the truth that's contained in God's word. That love and compassion that God has written in his love letters to us. So many people would like to tell the world that it is so untrue. Those who refuse to glorify God. Those who fail to give him thanks. It's strange, isn't it, that when there's a disaster, people... Are, are very quick to blame God. But if they're blessed or encouraged, very rarely do they say, thank you, God. Those who relish and glory in the objects made by man. This could be your car, your home, a particular possession or person, the money that you have in the bank. Those who've exchanged tr the truth of God for a lie. The rejection of his word, his love letters to us, loving wickedness, evil, greed and depravity. In love with all the problems that causes envy, murder, strife, deceit and malice. 
gossip, slanderers, God-haters, insolent, arrogant, boastful, full of false pride, disobedient to their parents, those who enjoy the lack of understanding and those who have no fidelity, no love, no mercy. These are the deeds that are festered and perform in the darkness without Christ. Paul encourages us to put them to one side and instead put on the armour of light so our deeds shine forth. What are these deeds that we should be performing when we are have donned upon ourselves the full armour of God? These deeds are love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control, lovers of God and those who follow God, no longer disobedient and instead are lovers of the truth, which is his word. Those who are full of faith, hope and deeds because those who love God feed those who are hungry, provide water to those who are thirsty, invite the stranger in and give hospitality, clothe those who are naked and cold and visit those who are sick and tend them and to free the prisoners who have built for themselves dungeons in their own minds and and they have locked themselves up. These are some of the deeds of light, because we wear the armour of light given to us from our God. No one is seen in the armour of light, but a true Christian. We have been told in the past what the armour consists of. It says this in Ephesians 6. Finally, be strong in the Lord, in his mighty power. Put on the full armour of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of the of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armour of God so when the day of evil comes, you may be, you may be able to stand your ground and after you have done everything to stand. Stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith, which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Notice what it says right at the beginning. Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. You're not expected to put on the armour of light yourself. Rather, you're expected to put it on with the might from God, not your own. Only God can stand against the devil's schemes. Only God can struggle against rulers and authorities of this dark world. So in him you can stand your ground with truth, righteousness, the gospel upon your lips, faith, salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is God's word, so you can wield that sword, wield the word of God into the world. In him we have power. Through his spirit we can overcome. In him, though we are weak, we can be strong and mighty because that is who and what he is. Oh, for a people who would love and know these words. Oh, for a church that would stand in God's power. The world would change. The glory of God would once again be seen in our towns and villages. For the night is nearly over. The day is almost here. So let us put aside the deeds of darkness and put on the armour of light. Hope has been given to us. Hope has been provided. A candle has been touched with fire this day. That candle which represents the hope which has come into the world for all mankind. A hope which means we can put aside the things of darkness as light streams into the world from the Lord Jesus Christ. Our Our Lord shines for us and gives us warmth. He gives us the warmth of hope for our hearts, for he is coming again. He is prepping the way. He is to be amongst us. Hope is given and the armour and his power are provided. This day, I wonder if you desire them. I know I do. How then do we achieve it? Let the power of God, he who is mighty in spirit, come amongst you. Let him anoint you. All you have to say is, Holy Spirit, come, I welcome you. Indwell me, use me, empower me, so I can put on the armour of light. It is his work to do this, so that you would be strong and mighty in his power, so you are able to overcome. Once the Spirit enters your being, you can then don the armour of light and become God's warrior on this world. This is your destiny 
and means you are no long you no longer have to perform the deeds of darkness but rather you perform the deeds of light as it says the night is nearly over the day is almost here set aside the deeds of darkness and put on the armor of light